Hey everyone, I'm on here twice in one day doing a Facebook Live video, imagine that. Um, I just wanted to get on and talk to you about this one thing that you can do that will actually, or can actually get you an additional $3,000 to $30,000 in free financial aid for the 2021 school year. Yes, free. That one thing that I'm referring to is appealing your financial aid award. It's January, so financial aid appeal, uh, Financial aid award letters are actually gonna be coming out soon, most likely in March. And you're all gonna be getting notified about all the great money that the colleges are giving your kiddos to attend there, right? So the reality is those awards are not always great. And what do you do when you get a financial aid award letter and there's a significant gap left over that means in order for your kiddo to attend that institution, you have to pay 15,000, 20,000, 30,000, sometimes even 40 or $50,000 for them to go. Well, the one thing you can do is actually appeal your financial aid award. And a lot of families are not aware that this is something that they can do. In fact, about 90% of college financial aid offices keep money set aside specifically for families who appeal their financial aid. You don't have to have special circumstances to appeal. This, that's a myth. If you do have special circumstances and things have changed this year as compared to last, yes, you can absolutely appeal. But if that doesn't apply to you and nothing has changed financially, all the information you submitted on the FAFSA and CSS is accurate, but you're just not getting awarded enough money to um, for your kiddo to be able to go to that school, you can actually humbly ask the financial aid office to award or give your son or daughter more money through writing an effective appeal letter. And it, it's about a one to a one and a half page letter. It should have some specific parts to it. And the key is writing that letter within the first two weeks of getting that financial aid award. Because as they use the money and they award it to families who appeal, the money depletes. So if you wait, you can really miss the boat on getting that extra money. 75% of the families that I helped appeal their financial aid last year actually received an additional $3,000 to $30,000 in additional free scholarship money just by writing a financial aid appeal letter. So is it worth it? Absolutely. Does it take up a lot of your time? No. So I just wanted to remind you all, I'm doing a webinar tomorrow night, January 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. It is a webinar on how to write an effective appeal letter I'll go over all the ins and outs with you, talk to you about how to organize it and how to write it in a way that will really you know, plead your case and help you get that additional money. I used to work in financial aid for years at public and private colleges and actually review appeal letters on a regular basis. So join me tomorrow night. I'll post the link to Lowe. Uh, the webinar costs $47. It's actually half the cost of an appeal consult one-on-one -on -one session with me. It's live. It'll be about an hour long. We'll spend 45 minutes going through all the information and then I'll do a live Q&A session at the end. And I'll also be recording it and emailing mailing it to everyone who registers. So if for some reason you can't attend the live webinar, I will get it sent to you in an email. So I will post the link below. It's tomorrow night, how to write an effective appeal letter. And I hope to see you all there.